School board member Stephanie Lawson Mohammed had a confrontation with the police. An astonishing speed as the gray car overtakes the police vehicle. Resolving the dispute at a police station, it seemed like a sensible choice. The man completely denies all accusations made by the police against him. Welcome everyone to today's video. After discovering a vehicle speeding in a 25 miles per hour speed limit zone, the police officer proceeded to pull over the car. My name is Stephanie Lawson Muhammad. I'm on the school board. I'm a meeting member of this town. I'm sorry if I was speeding. Yes, you were speeding. That's why I'm stopping I didn't you. I realize that I was speeding. You're doing 37 and a 25. I'm very sorry. Okay, do you have your driver's registration or insurance, ma'am? I have it all. The driver, introducing himself as Stephanie Lawson Muhammad, a member of the school board and the South Orange community, apologized for potentially speeding. She explained that she was taking her daughter to school in South Orange, New Jersey. Okay, ma'am, I'll just try to get you out of here as quickly as I can, okay? <laughs> I'm scared of cops because you guys hurt weapons. Just get out of the car and go away. And let me get this. Man, do you want me to call you an ambulance? No, I don't want you to call me an ambulance. Okay. That's an insult. Okay, I'm just, I'm just wondering. You look like you might be having a panic attack or some anxiety. I don't want you to call me an ambulance. Okay, no problem. I want you to call me. Do you have your driver's license, your registration, your insurance, ma'am? Lawson Mohammed appeared anxious when the officer requested her driver's license and insurance card. However, her insurance card had expired. And when the officer asked if she needed to call medical assistance, she declined but seemed visibly tense and unwell. Can you call Justice and tell her that she's going to be late to park? Can you call the middle school and let them know that my daughter no, is I cannot. late for park? Later, Lawson Mohammed requested the officer to call her daughter's school to inform them that she would be late due to a state-level exam. But the officer refused. I'm not so you don't, you're telling me that you don't have your driver's license? I'm telling you that I don't Okay, see do you have your insurance card, ma'am? Are you Maplewood Cop? No, ma'am. South Orange. South Orange, great. I'm yes, ma'am. Right okay. Ma'am, this is expired. Do you have the new one? Upon learning that he was an officer from South Orange, she remarked, Okay, I'll call Sheena right now. Referring to Sheena Colum, the South Orange Village president. <laughs> she wouldn't find her driver's license. Her car insurance had expired and she couldn't locate her new insurance card. She confined in the officer that she was very scared. Ma'am, you can put... To my okay, you can just put that back in the car, ma'am. <laughs> I saw when you were hanging out the window. You didn't need to keep your arm well, out the window. I the actually know that I have okay. my driver's license. Okay. Are you, are you sure you're okay to drive, ma'am? I'm okay to drive. My child is at home and she has parked today. And okay. We get her to school. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get this done as quick as possible, okay, ma'am? Here's your driver's license and the uh, expired registration card. Oh, excuse me, the, registra uh, the registration and the insurance card, okay? Ma'am, I wrote you a summons for the speed. I also issued one for failing to have a uh, valid insurance card in your possession, okay? The officer returned to his car and wrote her two summonses for speeding and driving without valid insurance. The time that you were stopped. Okay, the only thing they're going to do is just what? check... He will send the insurance. The ticket's already written, ma'am. So no, what you can do that is. That doesn't make any sense. If okay. My husband is telling now because for me to have to go to court. Lawson Mohammed became increasingly uncomfortable and flustered. I don't want to go to court. I have insurance. He can text you a picture of it right now. Okay, ma'am. It's already written. I can't void a summons once it's already written. I'll call Sheena. That's and fine. You're more than welcome to do that, ma'am. Skinhead cop, chief, too. Okay. She then mentioned that she would call Sheena Cullen and your bald police chief, referring to South Orange Police Chief Kyle Crow. Nevertheless, the police officer continued with his duties. The woman received two tickets afterward. Stephanie Lawson Muhammad later publicly apologized for her unreasonable behavior and announced that she personally apologized to the police officer. She was suspended from the South Orange Maplewood School Board for six months. So what are your thoughts on this situation? Please leave all of your comments below. A Florida Highway Patrol trooper was conducting patrols on US-1 at mile marker 36 when he noticed a gray Chevrolet Suburban traveling at a high rate of speed northbound into southbound lanes, exhibiting reckless driving behavior. Immediately, the trooper initiated a pursuit, though the suspect continued at high speed and showed no intentions of stopping despite the activated sirens and lights on the police vehicle.
During the pursuit and monitoring of the vehicle, the trooper notified the communications team about the fleeing vehicle's location and speed to receive timely assistance. A spike strip was deployed ahead, while warnings were issued to other traffic to ensure safety, but the violator evaded the spike strip, which was considered a measure to potentially reduce the vehicle's speed. The daring suspect continued to travel at high speed with nearly completely damaged tires. Subsequently, the suspect lost control and crashed into an empty construction site. Fortunately, no one was injured in this incident. When the suspect was swiftly apprehended, his reckless behavior will face the consequences of the law. I'm asking you to stop touching me. Stop. Please get your hand off me. Then step back This is the my partner. I'm asking you to stop and touching me. We had a dispute. It wasn't even physical. She tried to open the door, and this mother came up and tried to arrest her. A tumultuous situation unfolded at the police station. Two individuals were engaged in continuous arguments and altercations with the police. One of the individuals, a woman, was intoxicated and trying to protect herself from police intervention. Don't, don't touch me, please. Let go of the f door. Excuse me? What are you doing? This is my partner. I'm asking you to okay, stop touching me. Okay, and I'm telling you, stop. I have a rifle on. I'm asking you to stop touching me. Stop. Please get your hand off me. Then step back This from is the car. my partner. I'm asking you to stop and touching me. Look at me. Step I back. have a right. You don't have a right to be ripping law. outdoors in front of the cops. This is my partner. I don't care who it is. Step back. I give a f about you having a badge, bro. Don't give a f okay. I'm asking you to stay, take a step back. No. Put your arms Wait. behind your back. No. The intoxicated women exhibited uncontrollable behavior. The police requested the woman to step back and not touch them. My partner. Get the f off me, bro. 
Turn I'm around. asking you to get the fuck off me. No. Turn around. Get the fuck get around. No. We're done playing. No. I'm not playing with you. Get the fuck off Help me, dude. However, she persistently demanded that the police not to touch her. The woman became hostile as the police attempted to control the situation. Oh, you stupid bitch. Ultimately, the police had to resort to strong measures to restrain her. The woman was eventually handcuffed and charged with disorderly conduct and resisting an officer. We had a dispute. It wasn't even physical. She tried to open the door and this motherfucker came up and tried to arrest her. That was it. The other woman continuously complained about the police handling, believing they had caused the problem and demanded the release of the intoxicated woman. She also demanded her phone and keys back. No. No, it's my phone. I asked her for it back. That's the whole reason why we're in this dispute. I pay for that bill. It's under my name. I pay $900 for that phone. I let her use it. I let her use it today, yes. Okay, and that's why this is all... Yes, because she wanted to go out and drink. She was texting people off of my phone. I came here to get out of my house because she's been drinking. She asked me where I was. I told her the police station. She pulled over here and... She told me to open the door, and I said no. Well, I didn't realize that the door wasn't locked, so she opened the door. Yeah, yeah, tell them that I'm f drinking, you dumb bitch. But she has been drinking. She's been drinking since 11 at night. Can you at least put the handcuffs in the front? You want some money? Cooperate with you. Why the f can't you cooperate with me, bro? I'm telling you, I'm about to make a. F Problem, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm f bro. I'm I'm telling you, I'm a fucking raise hell in this. Bitch. I'm just. Hey, stop kicking the door. I'm asking you. I don't give a. F Move my fucking handcuffs in the front. No. Upon returning to the jail, the woman continued to argue and threatened to cause further trouble. I don't cooperate, but don't. F you are not. No. You're not gonna get cooperation on me if you touch me like that, bro. I'm trying to tell you, be easy. God damn. Perhaps she believes she has privileges even when she's been handcuffed. You can lose your job if you touch you me. Police conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle suspected of the driver being intoxicated. The police officer approached the driver and requested him to provide his driver's license and insurance. Thank you. Um, do you have your driver's license and your insurance, please? Why did you stop it? Um, I stopped you because you were swimming. Is there any reason why you're all over the road? I didn't. Okay. I'm not all over the road. Can you repeat yourself, sir? Hmm? Can you repeat what you said? I wasn't over the road. You were all over the road. Any alcohol or drugs tonight? No. Okay. You haven't drank any alcohol? No. Okay. Do you mind if I reach in your car? Is that okay? Huh? Can I reach inside the car? Is that okay? No. Okay, well, then I'm gonna keep my hand out here and you can hand the insurance to me like this. Because I still need to see the insurance. But that's no, there's no reason to be swerving all over the road. Do you agree with me? Okay, all right. Can I have your driver's license? You gave me your ID card. Where are you coming from? And where do you work? In Melbourne. And where? Melbourne. Well, I know what you do for work. I work on the back. You work on the dock? Okay, so I can a little alcohol coming from your breath. No. I can. No. I can. I drink No, I can smell alcohol coming from your breath. Okay. Is there something in your, do you have beer in the cooler or alcohol in the cooler? Okay, is it okay if I look? Yep. It's okay if my partner, if we look through your car to see if there's any in the car? Or illegal drugs? No. So yes or no? No. It's not okay. 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 Can you tell me how many drinks you've had today? I don't have any drinks. Okay. okay so you're gonna lie to me? No. Okay. So no. this is the deal. You're not saying no. You're not saying no. Unlock your door. Will you look at me, sir? Will you look at me? I can see your eyes are glassy and they're red. Okay. And I can smell, smell alcohol. No. Okay. So if that's if if you're telling me no, then I'm gonna have you step out of the car. We're gonna talk about it. Okay. Sir, I don't understand, okay? I'm asking you nicely right now. I'm gonna call my boss. I, 
The driver then denied consuming alcohol and claimed he was just eating. However, signs of alcohol use were detected from his breath and his red eyes. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me, okay? You want me to call my boss? Listen to me. We want to have a conversation here. We need to make sure that you're okay to I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. I was probably, I was all over the road. I need to have a conversation with you outside yeah, you of are. the car. Okay? No, I'm not going outside my car. Okay. I'm so, going to call my boss right now. So, and so, I told so this him is, that you guys pulled me over. So, so this is how it goes. Okay. okay. I'm a police officer. I know okay. You're a police officer. And and I can ask anybody to exit their vehicle. Okay. And they have to comply with my request. Despite being asked multiple times, the driver refused to exit the vehicle, becoming agitated and tense. He continued to deny previous alcohol consumption and resisted the police's efforts in the investigation. To have you get out of the car. I'm not getting out of the car. I need you to no. exit the vehicle. No. Please I'm don't not. make my hands on you. No. Okay? No. This, you're making no. something. You can lose your job if you touch. You are making no. something much more I don't complicated. Care. Okay. I don't care. The situation escalated when the driver refused to obey the officer's order to exit the vehicle. He asserted that the police couldn't remove him from the car without a warrant and threatened that they would lose their jobs if they touched him. Okay. Sir, what's your first name? Okay, I'm asking you. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. No. I don't understand why no. you're being so disrespectful. I'm not to talk to you. So, sir, you're making this a bigger deal than it has to be. All sure. we're asking is we're telling you now to get out of the car. If you don't, that's what's worse. We pulled you over for a, a roadway violation. We suspect you possibly have drank and some alcohol. Which my partner smelled on your breath. We need to make sure you're okay to drive home. By you delaying this process, it makes it harder for you and it makes this more complicated because we're on the side of a busy and, road. And now you're obstructing... Despite maintaining a calm demeanor, the police repeatedly asked him to cooperate and warned him about the consequences of resistance. The more this continues on, the more trouble you're going to be in. That's the reality of the situation. Do you understand? Okay. Your own body no. no. Your own body camera, sir. I, I don't care. Care. Sir, you were intoxicated. No, I know. At okay. this point, no. it's, you're, we're giving you the choice to no. either get out of the car. No. Okay. Eventually, the police had to forcibly remove the driver from the vehicle as he continued to resist, leading to a struggle where multiple officers had to restrain him. Despite objections and claims of being unfairly treated, the driver was handcuffed and placed in a police vehicle. Stand up. Get Stop resisting. Feet, Stop with this whole thing. Here, Campbell, get out of the way. Right. Do this. Sir, I need you to tuck your legs. Tuck your legs. Oh, I... Tuck your legs in. Tuck your legs on the, up on your feet. One, two, three, up on your butt. There we go. The driver was identified as a Varesto, charged with driving under the influence, resisting and obstructing law enforcement, and transporting or pressing illegal alcohol. Do you think he might be innocent, considering that the smell of alcohol was only present in the vehicle and he claimed not to have consumed any? What's going on, man? Uh oh, I was just a big man, so I put Okay. The police received a call from a woman reporting concerning behavior from her boyfriend, fearing he might be in danger. What's going on, man? Uh oh, I was just a big man, so I pulled up this person and took him to nap. Okay. You haven't been drinking? No. No, no. I do not. Drink. No drugs? No. Here, no, no, no. As they approached a man, he appeared tired and struggled to open his eyes. He claimed not to have consumed alcohol or used drugs, but the police noticed signs of extreme fatigue, as if he hadn't slept for days. The man then began to sway and had difficulty staying coherent while speaking. Hey. Yes. Why haven't you slept that day? Uh, I just have a kid. You have a kid? Uh, you do me a favor, put get the keys out of the ignition. Turn your car off. Put the keys on the roof. On the roof? Yep. Alright, stay put. One and four. One and four. I'm at West Broad and Maple with a 10-6, Frank, Frank King Young, 3591. This is on county. Can you start a or call and have them send a unit this way? Hey. 
one and four, can you start me a medic as well? He's ODing. Huh? If there's one available. Ooh, agonal breathing. All right. Shortly after, the police realized the severity of the situation as he showed signs of overdose. The police decided to administer Narcan, a drug used to counteract opioid overdose. And that is to save the man. 194, Narcan deployed. Copy, Narcan deployed. Although the first dose of Narcan had no effect, after the second dose, a man began to regain consciousness and breathe more steadily. There you go. There you go. Keep breathing. He was on the phone with his mom. Yeah? Yeah, so we were driving, just trying to get back to 19, and he's all over the road. He pulled in here. He gave me some story about how he was tired. I don't have his name or anything. Yeah, no. We've given him two doses. While waiting for the ambulance to arrive, the police continued to monitor and assist the man. They discovered a package of drugs on the passenger seat of his car, confirming suspicions of stimulant use. The man was assisted into the ambulance to be taken to the hospital. I just did a call back. I told her to stand out front of the ticket window, and there is a special duty there also. I copy, they're not answering up though. For you to wrinkle them on special batch 413. Right here, partner, have a seat. You taking them to doctors? I'm not afraid of the time. Probably, yeah. There you go. The Milwaukee Police Department patrol car was in the midst of carrying out its duties. A female officer was driving a patrol car through an intersection while the traffic signal was still green. Suddenly, the car ran a red light at a high speed and crashed straight into the side of the patrol car, causing it to overturn in the middle of the road. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm trying to. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Everyone on the road immediately tried to get out of their vehicles and assist the police patrol car. Despite the potential for fear, everyone showed kindness and concern for each other. Both the police officers and the drivers checked on each other's well-being and emphasized the importance of staying calm. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just hang out. Just hang out. Trying to. Just hang out. Just hang out. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I've never been in. A, I've never been in a car accident. Okay. Take a deep breath. Thank you, Shazam. Take a deep breath. Just take take two breaths. Sorry. Fifty two four ten and six eight. Are responding? It's okay. Just take a deep breath. Just deep breath. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Huh? Are you are you hurt? What hurt? What hurt? I don't know. Just stay like that. Just stay like that. Here. Huh? No, no. I'm good. I'm good. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Thanks, Bless you, man. Are you alright? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. As the situation gradually calmed down, they continued to support each other. Someone suggested checking the police officer's cell phone, while another reminded everyone to take deep breaths and remain composed. They all worked towards the common goal of ensuring everyone's safety and calmness after the incident. What happened? She blew the red light. Okay. She blew the red light. That's my truck right there. Comments. I, I seen her. I'm she used uh, the squad car coming. Right there, she, she blew the red light. Hey! 
Hold on. Hey. Hey, she's right there. She's right there. She blew the red Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Positive, bro. Look at this shit. Just hang out here for a minute, right? I'm I'm sorry. Hey, we got a witness right here. We got a good witness. Yeah. While the accident was an unfortunate incident, it serves as a reminder for all of us to adhere to traffic laws to ensure safety for ourselves and follow road users. Thank you for watching today's video. Wishing you moments of relaxation on the channel. Goodbye and see you again.